Hello and welcome to the video. This is Pac-Man here and welcome to Fallout New Vegas lore series. In this series I'm going to be going over locations in the wasteland, how they relate to the real world, and anything that we can really find out about these places in-game versus real life. So, Good Springs is located west of Gene and Seven Magic Mountains in southwest Nevada. Its main access point is from Route 161 um, going straight to the Long 15. And it also has two other routes, with Sandy Mountain Road to the southwest and Route 53 to the north. Located in a basin of a valley, it's flanked by mountains really on all sides, which isolates the area from the surrounding areas. On your journey through the Mojave Wasteland, the first location you find yourself is the city of Good Springs. Now, Good Springs is a real life city, which is actually just like almost everywhere in New Vegas. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, most places are based on real life places in the area. Um, in our timeline, it's a, almost exactly the same, surprisingly, and it is depicted in game with a high degree of accuracy, which I'll be going over in this video. Originally known as Goods Spring, in our timeline, Good Springs was named after Joseph Good, who headquartered his cattle operation in the area. That was back in the 1860s. Um, mainly due to the area's rich underground spring, he was able to cultivate his cattle in the area. By the early 1900s, though, Good Springs became a booming mining town. Um, this was after the discovery of gold in the surrounding mountains. Um, in 1913, the Fail Hotel, Pioneer Cafe, Yellow Pine Mine, as well as the Good Springs Elementary School were established and built. Later in 1915, the Pioneer Saloon, which we see in the game, finished construction and it replaced the Pioneer Cafe as, you know, the main watering hole of the city. Later on, after World War II, uh, World War I, um, Good Springs saw a decline due to the closing of the mine. Um, and although considered to be a ghost town by today's standards, Good Springs actually maintains a population. It's pretty low, it's 229 people as of 2010, but it is a popular tourist attraction in the area, not only since it does have some of the original structures, but also because uh, it is a you know, important historical landmark uh, for the gold mining days. Now, as we explore the town in game, we notice burnt down remains of many of the structures in the area and a lot of boarded up houses. Although one might assume this is the result of the bombs of 2077, many of these may actually be um, depictions of actual preserved remains of the town's original buildings which were claimed by multiple fires over the last century and a half. The only few buildings that are actually still standing are the Pioneer Saloon, um, let's see, the elementary school, and there is actually one other stone building, which unfortunately we don't see in the game, but is the oldest structure in uh, Good Springs. Now, as you also explore through uh, Good Springs in the game, um, right now we are going down Good Springs Drive, which is the main street which goes down the center of Good Springs. And as you'll really notice, if you look in real photos, they did take a lot of time to make this look as close as possible to reality. When you look dead center at the front of Pioneer Saloon and the remnants of the general store, it is amazing how much time and effort they put into making these look exactly as they would in real life. And what's actually very interesting is when you drive in um, to the city from 161, this is actually the first thing you see going into the city, which is absolutely accurate, um, exactly has it how it is on a map. Now, exploring the city further, um, the elementary school, is an actual building again and it is one of the original ones built in uh, 19, uh, 1915 or 1913 I'm sorry and you look further you go up north the cemetery actually is a real place I mean that cemetery actually looks very similar to the cemetery in game and is also located on a hill overlooking the city you 
even go down to the minutia of the gas station where you run into Ringo, and that is an actual gas station that you find in the northwest corner of the city. Um, that particular ro uh, road right there, the road that you get uh, swarmed by Cazadors by, is Route 53 leading out of the city, which to me is very important as I will kind of go over in the next section. But first, before that, I'd like to go over the people in-game that we do get a little info about Good Springs from, which is not a lot. Um, from what we can tell by interacting with the characters of the game, it does not look like any of the characters are actually descendants of the original population that we currently see living in Good Springs. In the Fallout timeline, we see wasteland settlers, we see farmers, we see a former vault dweller. Um, we don't see any direct mentions, though, of any of the original inhabitants. Most likely, this area was completely deserted during the fallout of the bombs dropping and was later resettled. Going through the few NPCs that you can actually speak to in the town, uh, those would be Doc Mitchell, Chet, Easy Pete, Sunny Smiles, and Trudy. There's only two of them who have any real story about their past and about the history of Good Springs in itself. Uh, the first would be Easy Pete. Easy Pete lets you know that he used to be a prospector slash salvager, and that he, after his life of exploring, settled down in Good Springs. So he isn't a original resident, I guess you would say. Doc Mitchell, he comes from a vault, as he explains, uh, the one that's in Vegas. And, um, you know, for him, he moved there after being a traveling doctor in the wasteland. So he's also not an original resident. Um, he does, though, unlike any other character in the town, actually give you a little bit of backstory on Good Springs in the game. And from what he tells us, he says that it's named after the water source, which is Good Springs water source. So in the game, from all the facts that we can gather from actually playing in game, the city of Good Springs was a town that ended up being resettled later on after the bombs fell and that currently Good Springs is um, named after the actual spring, whereas coincidentally the town was actually named Good Springs, um, you know, previously before the bombs dropped. So that's kind of interesting. Otherwise, um, town in-game, their um, economy is based on big horners, hides and meat, same with geckos, hides and meat, and of course their good water source which was the original reason why people were able to settle there, and which is the reason why now, um, after the bombs dropped, people were able to resettle in the area. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all we can really gather on Good Springs in itself. Um, let's see, anything further than that would be going outside the boundaries of um, Good Springs, which I'll actually be go going over in following videos. I do plan to go over the surrounding area, which include uh, the Gene Airfield, uh, Prim, and as well as I'm going to try to branch out all the way out to, you know, like Novak, which is not an actual city, but was based on, loosely based on a city in California, um, as well as, you know, all the rest of the cities that we can find and hopefully touch on Vegas as well. Las Vegas is an interesting one because Las Vegas has doubled in size over the past, um, I would say, 20 years. Um, so a lot of things have changed if you were to drive there now. But especially from what I could remember 10, 15 years ago, it is amazing how close they got a lot of things in this game. So um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any constructive criticism, go ahead and leave it below. I read all the comments. And if you like, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks a lot for watching. This is Pac-Man and have a good day.